I'm here with James Reinders in front of our Intel Developer Cloud booth. And James, tell us a little bit about what's going on here with the demo in Intel Developer Cloud. Well, I'm showing a bit of what we can do with Developer Cloud because, you know, as a software developer, I love to have the latest hardware, but I, I can't take it all home with me or, or to the office. So Developer Cloud gives me access to a lot of exciting things, whether it be the fastest new processors, uh, FPGAs, uh, uh, GPUs, uh, Gaudi, um, and we've got quite a, a, a selection here. We can go and log in and use SSH. I've got some code running here and I've logged in. Uh, we also support support uh, using uh, uh, visual um, code. So I can either do that in the browser or I can use visual code itself, the, the app. Um, and I also have Jupyter um, notebooks available. And so it gives me a lot of different options. Also, um, on some of the instances, we have the software pre-installed and others we let you install your own. So there's a lot of flexibility here, whether you're learning, training, trying out some new things or developing uh, large applications or large AI models. Oh, that's excellent. And I want to shift gears because obviously you've worked on UXL. I know James has worked on this. Let's be honest, folks. He's been working on this for a long time. A lot of the work that we saw today on stage came from James's hard work with our friend Allison Richards, our friends at Codeplay. James, tell us how proud you are about how UXL has come along. Well, I'm super excited because there's a lot of need for uh, open software and open capabilities. Uh, you know, we've just seen the beginning of acceleration in the industry. Even though it seems really exciting today, there's going to be more and more accelerators and acceleration capabilities abilities in the future really to drive the future of AI and scientific applications. And so UXL is focused on, well, how do we create open infrastructure that everyone can contribute to, whether they're working on designs that go into cars or designs that live in the cloud or uh, on the edge? Um, what can we do to make that a very open process? Well, a lot of great work went into that. Again, I named many people who helped. We're really excited about it.